Hey guys, it's been like a long time that I ever review a product before, but now we are, so introducing HD60S. Now, of course it doesn't have an Elgato by saying it, but that's what the product is called by the label of right over... Hmm, should have said that by now. But anyways, we're going to be reviewing the Elgato HD60. By that it means high definition 60 FPS, you know, mechanic. So... Of course, as you can tell, it says 1080p 60 capture card. So if you don't know what it is, it's technically meant for PS4, Xbox, and an, and Nintendo Switch. So that means you can be able to stream this off in your laptop, and yeah, that's how the whole Elgato works. You can be able to stream 1080p 60 FPS, and of course, it works on USB 3.0, and it's an instant um, game game view, and yeah. So anyways, make sure you all comment down below how you guys like this product so far. And without further ado, let's unbox. Anyways, so we have to unbox from the top. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, don't forget, look at, look at the back. <laughs> it's so cool. It has like a lot of cool information in the back. If you guys are interested to pause, feel free to pause because you need to look at these infos in the back before you, you know, get these. So anyways, let's unbox these. Alright, so we have to get the top, so, okay, so, how do I get this? Okay, so you have to pull this, okay, you have to pull this, and then we pull this out. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, wait, it has tape over it. I can just pull that off. Um, Alright, so, we have the box out, uh, if we can get it out. Alright, throw this box away. Alright. So, it has an Elgato logo on it, and looks pretty sick. And, uh, the back is just nothing. Alright. And the side is, uh, look like some kind of, in the inbox capture card HD60S. And HDMI cable, and USB 3.0 cable. Alright. And nothing else. Alright. And I guess the one final unboxing is... There you go. And uh, this is it. The whole box of the HD60S Elgato capture card. And of course, it shows the instructions of how to use it. So that's pretty cool. But I'll, sh I'll show you how to install that though. And look what we got inside is the HDMI. I think it was, no, no, it's a USB uh, 3.0. And we got ourselves the HDMI, which is pretty cool. And um, what else? We got ourselves these. I guess it's like a sticker or something, so that's pretty cool. And of course the box, like I said. And wow, who would ever thought that the box would be this small? Well, for the capture card, of course. And I gotta say, the, the it looks good design. I don't know why it's like a stripe right here, but it looks pretty cool. And it has a HDMI in and HDMI out, so that's pretty cool. And I'm not sure what this and this is supposed to be meant for, but we're going to figure that out. But I believe this is supposed to be an aux cord and this is supposed to be like a charging cable or something? I, I don't know, that's what it looks like to me. So, yeah. So I'm going to be showing you how to install this, so be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you how to install the Elgato. So, you have to get the HDMI that was out from your box that you opened it from Elgato box. And you have to put the put this one in the in type of port, and of course you have to have the H uh, other, uh, and of course you have to have another HDMI that connects to your monitor. So that's why I'm connected right now, as you can tell right about here. And of course you have to download the Elgato software. So I will show you that later on. So, but first you have to go to PS4, and then you have to go up to settings, and then you have to go into system and then you have to scroll down you have to disable HDCP and after that you have to restart your thing so you have to like res go power and restart so you can be able to restart your whole you know PS4 and we're gonna be switching to the PC right now alrighty guys we're in my laptop and um, I'm gonna be showing you how to install Elgato so what you have to do is search up Elgato, which is this website right here, elgato.com, and you'll be sent to this website right here. 
so on the upper right corner you'll see downloads so you have to like go to downloads and you have to scroll down and then until you find these two options you have to like make sure you pick the right capture card so if you have like a hd 60s or an hd 60s plus you pick one of these options like whatever the whatever the capture card you pick from you have to pick the exact same capture card as your product for you to order download and of course there's two options for you to order to pick either mac or windows i'm on windows so i'm going to be picking windows so it'll, it'll pop up these two options so these are like the 4k capture and this is the game capture right here so for you to download this you have to click this download logo right there so just press download and it shows thank you for downloading and it shows this downloading option right here and it takes like probably like a minute or two or it takes like just easy seconds or something but of course I already downloaded my elgato software so right after you're done downloading elgato software there's these two applications that you'll get which is the game capture hd and the sound capture now of course you have to go to game capture and i already have that open up right now so right there okay but listen though if you do plug in the exact same plugs on the ps4 to the monitor it will work though that means you have your very own menu where you could be able to record your high quality but of course it will show 1080p and 30 like at like once you get that up started so all you have to do is just go on settings right here and then go to captures and of course it'll show like a different input so make sure you go on playstation 4 and after that you have to go to profile and set your thing to hd 1080p right here and of course there's two things you can pick from either making the video of elgato like a lot good high quality or make the best there's good quality and best quality so if you want to have less quality i guess i don't know why would you want to do that then go to good if you want to go the best quality go all the way to the to the front and of course there's this option that said allow 60 fps it, it will be unchecked but make sure you check it on so you can be able to stream 60 fps and of course everything else of the whole options right here is pretty much normal as it is so press ok and that's technically it you can be able to put anything i believe so like during edits i believe I'm not, I'm not really sure most of the time from this from this whole Elgato software, but I'm pretty sure you can edit some cool stuff like having your stream or uh, having your stream overlays or, you know, your face cam right here. It has so many like different overlays though. And of course, how you how you record is pay, basically just press this little button right there. And after when you're done recording, you can actually go to your folder, which you have to go press the files right here and when you're done recording the video it'll go up to P this pc videos so it'll be popping right here so i will be showing you a testing footage of how the elgato works during the gameplay so i'll be right back all right guys we're in the game and this game is called call of duty world war 2 and this game is used to be one of the you know fun games so far where like when i was a kid well younger kid of course and by the telling of elgato it actually works so far like it actually has like a really smooth recording it didn't show any pixelation at all it actually it actually runs the whole you know system pretty good so i have nothing else to say but to buy this also do i think this elgato hd 60s is worth it i think so I mean, even though it costs like $180, that's what it's costing Amazon purchases. Um, it may cost $180, but it may be pretty good just for, you know, for you to record 1080p 60 on, you know, as a video or as like a live streaming. So like if you ever have this Elgato, you can actually make really good videos if you're like a PS4 YouTuber or whatever. It'd be very good just for any YouTubers who are, you know, PS4 people or Nintendo Switch people or, or Xbox type of people. So yeah, so I think this Elgato is worth to have. And of course I'll be doing like a lot of Elgato, you know, live stream. Well, not live stream, but like do like a lot of videos because now I have the Elgato, I can do a lot of videos on it. But, but anyways, I don't want to waste your time. The Elgato is perfect and yeah. So hopefully you all like this video though. It takes some time to edit this video out or try to, you know, film all this, you know, all this film and all. So, so thank you all so much for watching. Please consider to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like these. And yeah, that'd be very supportive if you guys do that. So anyways, peace out.